So the pink color that surrounds Akatsuki's neck gives Amine total control over his body because she actually used it to maybe show off like, look, this is what I can do uh, to you. I don't, need, I don't need your approval. I can just use you as a puppet, which she actually did. And she made him do some crazy stuff like he took off his shirt and they also asked for some butt whooping. He actually wanted her to actually kick him in the butt. Which he didn't want to happen because he was saying that in his mind. But like I said, he had no control over his body and his speech. He actually literally begged for her to kick him in the butt. Which the cops stopped because that was public indecency. And they ran away from the cops. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> that was crazy. That was crazy. This whole episode was weird and funny at the same time. Cause they were actually trying to literally, they were literally flirting for a majority of the episode, trying to one up each other, trying to do all these cliche flirting techniques that uh, girls and guys do to try to get the girls' attention or try to get the girls to fall in love with you or the guys to fall in love with you. That's what they were doing. They were a, having a flirty battle, a flirty competition to see who can one up each other or basically cause the other one to fall. Maybe to be under their control or something like that. Or may, maybe uh, for Akatsu to actually get her to remove the collar. Because he actually is on a mission to find somebody to actually be a charismatic character for the demons. To rally them up to actually fight the angels. And Amine is actually looking or was looking for help to actually act revenge on people that done her wrong. So that's why she kept him alive. She could have killed him, but she didn't. She actually wanted him to be, actually wants to use him to go against, I guess, some angels that did her wrong. I don't know. I don't know. He, we didn't get that much details in this episode. But yeah, it was pretty funny to see them trying to outflirt each other. It was pretty funny. And then at the end, of course, Am Amine was close to winning until the teacher stopped them because they were doing it throughout the whole school day throughout the whole day, acting all cute and stuff. Uh, of course, um, Akatsu actually acting all manly and shit to just, just get, get her to fall too. And they were both falling for it until they, they actually stood their ground. They actually did stood their ground until the end, until I, I'm assuming that if the teacher wasn't involved at the end, their teacher wasn't involved at the end, I think Akatsu would have fall. And that would have been a victory for Amine, but the teachers basically saved Akatsu. I think he would have actually fought. I, he would have fought for that cutesy thing that she did, which is probably the last trick a girl has, which is to fall on a guy and look sad and, and cute at the same time. Which uh, I think would have worked for every other guy, but I think it would have worked on Akatsu too. But... Like I said, the teacher got involved and told her to told them to stop flirting. Like basically, do this on your own time. <laughs> it's it was pretty funny. It was pretty funny, especially at the end, where the teacher was like, "Just stop it! Stop this right now! Stop this! Stop flirting! Stop having this topic conversation competition, or not not a competition, but just stop flirting." Ironically, they watched the same TV. They basically were trying to. I'll strategize each other. But the thing is, they watched the same thing, I guess, at the same time. And that's why they started doing this flirting. Trying to get uh, one of them to actually fall in love with, with each other, basically falling. Making sure that they actually would actually be under them and be under their control. Which is too late for Akatsu. He basically wanted just for her to fall and then fall for him and then try to get him get her to actually release him from the, the shackles that she put him under which is that collar which is now hidden of course it's gonna hide it's gonna look weird when you go to school with the, with the pink collar and there's gonna be some questions and she doesn't want any questions so of course it has to be disappear it has to disappear but it was very it was nice and funny <laughs> it was pretty funny pretty weird and funny at the same time <laughs> 
Uh, it's a good thing that two people stopped them from doing some crazy shit. <laughs> uh, the teacher and then the police, the officer. That was pretty funny. <laughs> and the officer actually came back and <laughs> she actually found them. They they hid from him and then they, they he actually found them and then they ran again. <laughs> This is gonna be some comedic shit in this anime. It's gonna be a trope where they're trying to get one up each other. I think that's what's gonna happen. They're they're, they're gonna try to one up each other every, every almost every episode. Try to get one to fall. He's gonna be more cute. He's gonna try to get him to. They're gonna do back and forth. They're gonna be having a back and forth. Even though she she has them under her control, they're still gonna have this back and forth because a bit. I'm assuming that she's probably gonna try to give him some free will because maybe she doesn't want that. But she still wants him under her control. Because uh, if she wanted to, she can actually just make him do whatever he wants uh, without him uh, rebelling or anything. Because we saw it. She, we saw that he ha she has that power. That collar gives her that power to do it. And she, not, she doesn't do it through the collar. She does it from a ring. I'm assuming that that ring is going to be a major factor in one of these episodes. Maybe he's trying to get the ring. Probably figures it out. Look, you know what? If I get rid of the ring, I'll, I'll do. I'll get that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. He just showed off like, hey, this is how I can control you. You got us. I'm the only one that can take it off, too. She's the only one that can take it off, and she's the one that can control him and do whatever she wants with him. Or make him do whatever she wants. What she needs him for some project that she's trying to uh, get revenge on. That she wants to get revenge on people. That she knows. Some angels maybe. Some angels that she knows that did her wrong. I don't know who, uh, what the, that is. I don't know who that is. No more details will relate on that. Uh, maybe in future episodes. Well, we, well, yeah, we'll eventually know what uh, what's going on. Why she wants revenge on some angels, I think. I think that's who... Uh, He's trying to get revenge on. But uh, we don't know who exactly. And we don't know why. I don't know. We don't know why she has this uh, a vengeance on her mind. We'll eventually know. It's just a second episode. We'll eventually know. Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to your channel. Share the video. And I hope to see you on the next video. I hope to see you on the next one. Peace out.